If you are looking to buy or sell a home in Fort Saskatchewan in the next few months, then this video is for you because I'm going to do a deep dive on exactly what's happening in the Fort Saskatchewan real estate market using the most recent statistics available from the Realtors Association of Edmonton. So that's gonna be looking at the month of March. Uh, after we get the whole month in, we've got the stats and we can take a look at what's been happening uh, for the month of March, which can give you a really good overall view of what's going on in the Fort Saskatchewan real estate market. So we're gonna start by looking at the market as a whole, then we're gonna look at single family homes, and then we're gonna look at condos, cause it's gonna look a little bit different depending on uh, which lens you're looking at it through. Uh, and just to remind you, you can get a copy of this report for yourself. You can download a PDF or view it on your web browser. I'll put a link in the description of the video so that you can download a copy of this report. So let's, let's jump right in. Looking at the market as a whole, the average price in March uh, for Fort Saskatchewan was $405,937, which was up 0.69% from February and up 4.43% from March 2021. Last month, we showed a gain of 3.44%, and uh, in January, we had a gain of 2.9%. This average price metric is not the best when you're looking at a smaller market like Fort Saskatchewan, because anytime you have an expensive house that sells or a cheap house that sells, it can start to skew the average price a little bit. So I'd take it with a grain of salt. Uh, if you look at it from a yearly basis though, it's a little bit more stable on the average prices. In 2021, we were up 5.27% with an average price of $382,574. And in 2022, so far, we're up 4.46% with an average price of $399,620. Now, if you compare that to Edmonton, it's pretty on par. Uh, last year didn't perform quite as well as Edmonton, but so far it's pretty close to Edmonton in terms of the percentage price gain. Now, if we look at the actual actives and solds, at the end of March, we had 79 active listings and there had been 63 sales throughout the month. Uh, so that's a 6.76% increase in active listings from last month, but a 45.89% decrease in active listings from last year. So we got a lot less inventory for sure from last year. Same story everywhere, including Edmonton and surrounding communities. Now the solds are actually down three, just over 3% from last month and down 30% from last year. And if you look over here at this graph on the right, looking at the 13 month history, the green represents the gap between the number of sales and the active listings. And you can see last year uh, in March and April, it was pretty hot market. Um, and then it kind of cooled down a little bit for the rest of the year, but it was still pretty balanced. Uh, and then in just the last couple months in February and March, that gap like shrank and it got quite small. And I think it's actually hurting the sales volume because with 63 sales this month, we actually have less than we did last month, which is kind of weird going from February to March. Usually March is busier um, and it's less than last year in March and April as well. But we had significantly more inventory in March and April of last year with 146 than 170. Us dropping down to just 74 active listings at the, uh, at the end of February and then 79 at the end of March shows that we just don't have enough inventory to support very many sales. So that's constraining the market. Uh, in Fort Saskatchewan for sure. If we had more uh, single family home listings, especially, I believe we would have higher sales volume. Uh, so I, I wouldn't look at that and, and, and say like, oh, the, the activity's dropping. I think there's just not enough uh, houses to go around. Uh, so that's actually hurting the number of sales. So uh, let's continue on. That represents a 79.75% absorption rate. Uh, so the odds of selling actually decreased a little bit from last month, technically. Um, and you can see that, again, the last two months have been quite crazy. This is basically the same information we were looking at before, but just showing it as a percentage instead. Now, if you look at the average days on market, we were sitting at 63 days on average for March, uh, which was down a day uh, from February when we were at 64, and it's a little bit longer than uh, March last year when we were at 52. Now we're gonna go take a look at single family and then condos specifically. But first I just wanna remind you that this can be really good general information, but if you'd like to get some more specific guidance and strategic advice based on your unique situation, whether you're buying or selling a home, you know what price point it's at, what type of property it is, those types of things can really um, affect what type of advice I'd give you based on uh, what you wanna do and what your goals are. So I'd recommend reaching out to me at 780-819-5508. You can either text me or call me, or you can email me at trevor at trevortardiff.com or go to booktrevornow.com, select the time on my calendar, and then I will call you. Hope you're getting value out of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like it so far. Now let's take a look at single family. So the single family home average price in March was $445,610 in Fort Saskatchewan, which is technically up 0.25% from February and up 12, just over 12% from March last year. So 
we had a pretty big jump in, in February, like we were seeing in Edmonton and, and the other surrounding communities. And then it sort of leveled off a little bit for March. Uh, now, if we look at it from a yearly basis, in 2021, we were up 7.07%. In 2022, so far, we're up 7.26%, which is looking pretty uh, good compared to Edmonton. Like Edmonton, we were pretty comparable with in 2021. And in 2022, for Saskatchewan, single family homes are actually uh, appreciating more on average than Edmonton so far. Obviously, that can change as the year progresses, but that's what it looks like so far. Now, if we look at actives and solds, we had 51 active listings at the end of the month and we had 52 sales. So the actives are up a modest 6.25%, uh, but down 50% from last year. Uh, and the solds are down 1.89% from last month and down 38% from last year. And it's clear as day here, you can see there's no green gap because there's just not enough inventory. We had more sales, uh, we had one more sale than we had active listings uh, at the end of the month. So we have less than a month of inventory and that's how come we have a, a listing absorption rate over 100% at 101% for single family homes. So uh, it's pretty hot out there for single family homes. This is the kind of thing that puts uh, upward pressure on prices, even though we didn't get as much of a gain in this, last, in, in this last month for the average price of single family homes. The conditions are still there to put upward pressure on prices. So something to keep in mind if you're out there uh, buying or selling a home in Fort Saskatchewan. Now, if we look at the average days on market for single family homes, it was 57 days, which is the same as it was last month, but it is technically up seven days from last year when we were sitting at 50 days. And that's uh, what it looks like for single family homes in Fort Saskatchewan. Uh, just to remind you, you can download this report. There's a link in the description, but let's take a look at the condos now. So the average price of a condo that sold in March in Fort Saskatchewan was $218,390, which is technically down just over a percent from last month and down 16.79% uh, from March, 2021. Well, that sounds whacked. Well, it is whacked. Uh, average prices for condos and there's only a handful of them selling. Let's see. Yeah, there's not very many selling. So it's, it's just based on what type of condo is selling that's gonna adjust the average price. Uh, so far for the year, we're up 6.35% for condos, but last year it says we were down 9.13%. Compare that to Edmonton, and, and we're looking pretty good this year so far, but last year condos appear to have outperformed in Edmonton. But again, it's a small market, even though we're looking at the whole year uh, with condos with, you know, a couple dozen sales or a couple dozen actives and less than a dozen sales in the course of a month it makes it so that your average prices can be all over the place uh, so in march we had 28 actives 11 solds so you can see that there's a lot more green in this graph here but it really has uh shrunk so in the last couple months there was a big shift in the market as well and, and condos got a little bit more activity even out in fort saskatchewan so it's a little bit more balanced uh, for condos now in fort saskatchewan whereas it was definitely uh, more of a buyer's market territory before. Uh, so we're sitting at a 39%, 39.29% absorption rate. And you can see this is the same information just as percentages. And you can see the last couple months were a lot more balanced um, for, for condos. So the buyers weren't quite calling all the shots anymore in the last couple months uh, in uh, Fort Saskatchewan. Average days on market still quite high, 96 days. Uh, this month it was 94 last month, last year it was 80 days. Uh, it, it does fluctuate quite a bit again, just cause there's not a whole lot of sales volume. So that's it for condos. Hope you got value out of this. Make sure to like, and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to check out this uh, playlist with market update videos and subscribe so that you never miss another video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.